Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, September 7th, 2021, and I am Lizzie Black. We are back with another broadcast where we will keep you up to date on activities in Stephenville and the surrounding areas, as well as inform you of the news from around the globe. Today I will be talking about Stephenville's 9-11 Memorial, Oregon's Texas travel ban, wildfires in California, and more, all coming up next on Texan News. In campus news, Tarleton State University appointed Jennifer Cawley as interim vice president for the Division of Institutional Advancement. Cawley has worked for Texan Christian University and University of Texas where she contributed to many fundraisers and organizations that help these universities grow. Tarleton is pending approval from the A&M University System Board of Regents, but Cawley is excited to work with the administration here in Stephenville. Also, this weekend is Family Weekend at Tarleton, and the university has organized a fun-filled day on Saturday. The fun includes breakfast with the Hurleys, Texan Rally, tailgating, and the day will end with the Military Appreciation Football Game against the Fort Lewis and Firework Show. In local news, according to Beneath the Surface News, on Saturday, September 11th, Tarleton State University, the City of Stephenville, and ERAF County will be partnering to remember the, and honor the nation's loss and resilience for the 20th anniversary of 9-11. The day will start at 10 a.m. with the ringing of the Stephenville Fire Department bell. The event will take place on Tarleton campus at the Administration Hall. Tarleton President James Hurley and the Stephenville Police Chief Dan D Harris will both speak at the ceremony. There will be many other displays and activities taking place, including the posting of the colors, a live performance, and a field of flags. Free parking will be available and the display is open to the public from September 8th through the 14th. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. The Portland, Oregon City Council is currently holding a vote this Wednesday to ban the purchases of goods and services from the state of Texas in response to the state's new abortion laws. On top of the economic ban, the city employees of Portland will be barred from traveling to the state of Texas until the abortion bill is changed or overturned in court. Portland's proposal comes just a few days after the Supreme Court decided not to interfere with Texas's new abortion law, a decision that enraged the left but received praise from the right. Portland's voting session will be held tomorrow. In national news, the threat faced by the wildfire in Lake Tahoe, California is finally lowering due to the success of firefighters. Spreading only a few thousand acres in the past two weeks, the fire is seeing a smaller average increase. Environmental factors have also helped hinder the spread of the fire, with the higher humidity and weaker wind in the state. More people are being allowed to return home as severity of the fire lowers, and evacuation orders are being lifted. In the part of the state near Nevada, South Lake residents still do not know when they will be allowed to return home. In international news, on Sunday, at least four planes that were full of several hundred people seeking to escape the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan were, able to leave, were unable to leave for several days. There have been multiple conflicting accounts as to why flights have not left, putting heavy pressure on the United States to help those stranded in the country. Afghan officials claim the passengers were Afghans who did not have passports or visas. However, according to the top Republican on the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee, the, state, the, the group of passengers included Americans and the Taliban was essentially holding them hostage. The Taliban will not let them leave the airport, Representative Michael McCall of Texas said. They're going to demand more and more, whether it be cash or legitimacy of the government of Afghanistan. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. With the help of the United Nations, authorities in Iraq are taking measures to prevent voter fraud in national elections next month. The 2018 federal election saw record low turnout with just 44% of eligible voters casting ballots, and the results were widely contested. A group of Afghan women held an anti-Pakistan protest in Kabul on Tuesday, leading to the arrest of several Afghan journalists who were covering the event. The protesters gathered outside the Pakistan embassy to denounce what the demonstrators allege is Pakistan's interference in Afghanistan. 
Over 8 million school children and teenagers in Spain are returning to classes this week with masks and efforts to keep social distancing. Coronavirus contagion has dropped from just over 700 at the end of July to 177 cases per 100,000 residents in 14 days. And German President Frank Walter Steinmeier started a state visit to Sweden on Tuesday, the first such state visit hosted by Sweden's king in around two years due to the coronavirus pandemic. Steinmeier paraded through Stockholm on a horse-drawn carriage before an official greeting in the palace courtyard. Ron Harris, Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports, the Tarleton State Texans had their season in whack opener to Stephen F. Austin this Saturday. The Texans started the game hot with quarterback Stephen Duncan throwing a 35-yard touchdown to J.F. Thomas with less than three minutes into the game. However, the story of the game was the turnovers. Duncan would go on to throw three picks. The engage encouraging part of the game was the defense, holding Stephen F. Austin to 10 points through the first three quarters, but allowing 10 in the fourth. Charlton would lose the game 20 to 10. The Texans will host their season opener this Saturday against Fort Lewis at 6 p.m. for Family Weekend. The game will be broadcasted on ESPN Plus and 90.5 FM in Steamville and the Tarleton Sports Network. And now for the weather, we turn to Maddie Reed. Hey Texans, today the high is going to be 94 and the low 68. Throughout the week, the highs will be in the 90s and the lows in the 60s. In addition, it'll be sunny all week, making it perfect swimming weather before winter sets in. Have a great day, Texans. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a production of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by the Texan TV staff. Be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions about today's stories in the comments below. Have a wonderful day, Texans.